everybody, my name is Azalea and you're watching my YouTube channel, Way Crunchy. Hi. That's little Zinni in the back, my daughter. I watch Pokemon TV. She watches Pokemon. About my birthday. Soon it will be her happy birthday. Y'all, John just had the best idea. Zinnia, you know, she's ready to just take over the channel, loves making videos. And I was like, she's ready to take over Way Crunchy. And John was like, she can be little crunchy. Oh my God, wouldn't that be cute? Little crunchy. Anyway. We have been working, working, working on our $19.29, $20,000 fixer upper, but y'all winter has come like hard, really hard. It's just ice and snow and ice and snow and below freezing. And we can't work on the fixer upper, you know, we're, we're snowed in here in the barn, our rental. So today I'm, I'm kicking it old school. I'm going back to do a clean with me video. <laughs> what are you doing? He All right, let's gather up trash and dishes. Dishes and cans. Y'all, this is my nightside table. I really gotta do something with this, obviously. And we get a lot of dust. Y'all, let me know in the comments if you have this experience. So, my boyfriend's dog, Ella, she's really, really furry and she sheds so much. And you know, if you've been watching this channel for a while, I used to have a hairless dog who passed away. Um, so I'm getting used to having a, a fur dog. And yeah, her fur collects around. But I swear, I did not have like dust before the dog moved here. Do furry dogs that shed also create dust? Is it my imagination or is this real? This is just a little damp washcloth. It's just dust or wash right out in the washing machine. Get the dust off this lampshade. What's wrong, John? You want to hang out with me? <laughs> I'm cleaning the house. I cleaned the ice off your car. Thank you so much, John. <sighs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna bleach this disgusting toilet. Is I take a little piece of toilet paper because I can just flush that right away. Right, just put that right in the middle. So 
to just wipe around over here. I get so much lint and dust in this bathroom. I guess it's from the towels and the dog, maybe. Definitely gonna wash my hands good after this. Onward to the cooking portion of the day and also the cooking portion of this video. Alright, so in this pan I've got some chopped up onions, chopped up carrots. I'm going to saute those for quite a while. In this little pot back here I have one cup, which will make like two cups, Hi. of brown rice. Hi. Anyway, making broccoli casserole today. Yeah. Cream of mushroom. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hi. Zinnia says hi. Zinnia, do you like broccoli casserole? Yes. John, do you like broccoli casserole? With a passion. With a passion, that's so good. Tom, do you like broccoli casserole? No. Ah. Well, I've never tried it, so I'm ah. not sure. Maybe you do. Ah. Ella, do you like broccoli casserole? She does, she wants some broccoli casserole. Carrots, make a delicious, healthy snack. herbs, tons of herbs in everything you cook. First of all, I'm going to grind some black pepper in the onion and carrot pan. Mm, yeah, tons of that. Mm -mm, I can smell it in the air. Um, now, we always use the peg salt and uh, put a little pinch of that. I have a little more of a low sodium diet my own self. John has a high sodium diet, but <laughs> higher than me. Anyway, now I'm gonna put some sage in here. Now, if you're old school, way crunchy, when we lived in our downtown apartment, I grew this sage in the yard and I collected and dried up a bunch of it. That's a few years now. But dry herbs, dry them real good. Keep them in a lovely airtight jar. Oh, they'll just keep forever. So I'm gonna, just with my fingers, grind up these brittle, crunchy sage leaves. Now kitchen sage is different than 
all that white sage everyone makes smudge sticks out of. Now you can make a smudge stick out of kitchen sage, but it is different. That lovely furry white sage everyone picks for smudge sticks is a little different. Anyway, this is more green. What else am I gonna put in here? I always just say, what am I gonna put in? What kind of herbs? Um, ooh, I got some onion flakes. Let's just put a little bit of onion flakes in. I know I got a pot full of onion right here, but let's do that. I haven't opened this. This is just some, some onion flakes I got over at Walmart. Walmart? Walmart. I'm always keeping it real here on Way Crunchy. Okay. Just a little bit of those minced dried onions. A variety. Now, you know what? Put paprika in everything. Put it in everything. Just absolutely everything. Throw a little bit of paprika in. Role as a blank canvas, as a template, as a moment to be creative with whatever you have in your house. You can make a, into a casserole. Essentially, add some cream of mushroom soup and it turns into casserole. It's great. Okay. So, what I'm doing right now, because it's going to be rice, is I have really got this olive oil, herbs, onions, carrots, and then I have a cup of a dry cup of brown rice. So I'm gonna take all this delicious herb, the oil and onions and everything, and I'm gonna put that in with the rice and mix it up. Oh, that's gonna be good. That sounds like good lunch right there, but we're gonna take it further. We're gonna keep going with this. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna set that marinade in there. Mm. Oh yeah. Now I feel like frying up some rice, but that's not what we're doing today. I'm just gonna use the same pan right here. I'll put some water in the bottom. I'm gonna turn it on high. I'm about to just quickly steam up some broccoli and a little bit of cauliflower right in the same pan. Cause you know, don't wash more dishes than you have to. make it work. People always think they have to have all this matching and stuff and special equipment. You don't. Just work with what you got. Just work with what you got. broccoli and this cauliflower all chopped up. I'm going to get my rice mixture out. I'm going to put it in. Get all this in. Then you got to get your cream of mushroom. Ooh, and your cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. 
Here's Joan. Oh my God, that smells good. Mm, mm. Oh, this is gonna be yummy. Cream of mushroom. Oh my God, I'm getting really excited now. insane that's gonna be so good all right i won't get i want to get good to the last drop but you know what i'm not gonna put water in here i mean yeah it is water but i'm gonna use the pan where i cook the onions and the carrots and the carrots and the broccoli and the cauliflower because it's full of flavors let me pour this over the sink oh my gosh y'all oh my gosh Oh my goodness, it's so good, y'all. Work in some shredded cheese. Not too much or your cholesterol will get high. Oh yeah, you gotta top this baby with some breadcrumbs. You could also crush up saltines or use boxed stuff and mix. All sorts of different things you can do with a casserole. Let yourself go wild. Feel creative. Have a moment of creativity. And I put some cheese on top. And I put some salt and pepper. Mm-hmm. That's going to be good. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm going to put this in the oven at like 350 for like 20 minutes whenever it's bubbly and not burnt. That's all, bubbly and not burnt. Ain't anything in here raw that needs to be cooked all the way through. Okay, the full dinner tonight is gonna be our beautiful broccoli casserole, some tater rounds, and some veggie chicken nuggets. We vegetarians over here, but we also eat fish. So we're pescatarians. Now, you wash it all up while things are cooking. That's the secret to having a happy dinner, is not having a crazy kitchen afterwards. This is a fun part, a really fun part. So what I'm gonna do now is empty my vacuum. And it was empty this morning uh, before I started with this clean with me. So let's see how much we got. How much did we harvest today? That is so satisfying. That is so satisfying to me. Into the trash. Love that, love that feeling. I've been harvested all that dirt, all that fur. I love it. I'm ready for dinner, I'm hungry. What are you having for dinner tonight? Tell me in the comments. <laughs>